Seems that we've got our new class T. Uh, I think what we should do, because it's capable of pulling more at the same speed, I think what I would like to do would be to get a line from Crosset to Felicity if I have the money for that, which is a big if. So I'm going to just start off here, of course, with the uh, with the bridge over the water because that's kind of the most important bit here. So let's try and get that started here. I've got to be very careful of my finances, of course. Uh, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to bring this to like... Um, yeah, to like there. And then bring it down to ground level. That's much better. Look at that. Much smoother. Okay, awesome. So the issue we've made here is that this train track is blocking the river, right? Let's check. Waterways. Yeah, it's blocking the river, so we can't run any traffic. Well, unless we were to rebuild the bridge, we can't run any traffic down through this area. Which is okay for now, because we don't have anything. I'd rather get the train running than, uh, than have to worry about that for now. So let's go with our 40, because the train can only go 40, of course. Let's turn that, no, that off. So we've got to go into Felicity. Let's, let's just forget that for now, and let's build the train station. So buildings, uh, passenger station. And let's go with, uh, you know what, because it's a fairly big city, I'm going to go with a kind of big-ish style station. So I'm going to go with the same length that we used in Westhampton, uh, and then probably just chop one piece of platform off, or I might just even leave it, who knows. Uh, but we need to do this down in our most uh, big areas, if that's possible. So where would be a good spot? I'm thinking maybe like put it here. That's actually not too bad. Let's try that. I think that's a good spot. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's stick this in here then. So, quite expensive, but I think that's worth it, to be honest with you. So we'll do that, and then we'll bring our track out over... See, it would be nice if we could run... Oh, actually, let me just pause again so they don't build any buildings. It would be nice to run the track alongside the road, although I don't think that's possible. So, yeah, this is fine. We'll go, we'll go with this, and then what do we need here for these? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, okay, we'll do, we'll do that, and uh, we'll bring this down to, where can we do this to make it straight? Let's bring it, let's just do this bit straight, and then we'll curve this bit like, like that. No, like that. Nope, nope. <laughs> Had it there, there. Do that, okay, awesome. Straighten that out. And the same on this side, so just bring this through here. Right, boom, awesome. Then we'll bring this little guy over to you although that's not an angle i'm prepared to work with yeah probably best if we just like go like that and then just readjust the terrain so we just go from here let's put this down to like there and then we just go from here so what terrain do we need to do a little bit of terrain adjustments so pull this down to there and then grab that and then plug it in there and that should fix most of the issues There's just the one light tiny little bit isn't there so down to there and then now it should work yeah, that'll do. I'll take that. Okay, awesome. So now our track goes all the way over to Felicity, which is nice. Um, so we need to finish our track here, of course. So where do we go from? We're going to go from all the way up here. So let's... Oh, it's tricky, actually. Well, I would usually just abandon it, but I can't because it's in the way of where I want to build. So we're going to have to bring the demolition team out. Get rid of that bit of track. So that's not really what I wanted to do, but it's, uh, it'll do. Down to very low amounts of money, aren't well, I say that, but we've, we've been in debt most of the game, so a million is not too bad if you think about it. I think that's fine. Yeah, I am quite happy with that, to be honest. That's not in the forest too much. And now is the fun bit. We go to, where is it now? West Bay Railway, and then Summerland is, oh no, it's, oh right, I'm going to have to change some stuff. Okay, remove, 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 remove. We're going to have to change our route. So, we're starting, in this case, we're going to be starting from... Summerland, aren't we? So we're starting here. We're going down to there. Then we're going up to Westhampton. And then let's just double check these tracks have gone the right way. They have. Okay, and then Westhampton down to Fancy Gap. Fancy Gap to Crosset. And then going all the way over to Felicity. Oh no, it's that first, then Felicity, there we go, lovely. And then we should be done, cool. So, we can out, we can let our game run, but first of all, I'm going to put a bus route in, of course. So, uh, we need to go to buildings, and I'm going to go with the big bus stop for now, because, uh, well, it's a big station, I suppose. 
one of those in there and we'll get our small bus stop with a bench put one of those down in where can we put one of those so i can actually get away with one here we'll make a new line from there to there we'll call that one uh, little shuttle and then make that passenger colors of course and the last thing to do before we set the train going is we need a bus depot bus depot goes in industrial so industrials over here great get one of these guys down how can we put this without causing too much disruption it's tricky what you, these bus depots are really tricky sometimes you've got to be careful what you're doing with them catch you off guard we'll get one like that all right and then we'll get let's just go with two no we'll go with three actually go with three and then we'll put this into fell shuttle all right and here we are pulling in to felicity station for the first time here's the class t starting to break any second now let's find out how well it's going to do i don't think it's going to do well the first year however it will be doing well shortly because it's a big city if you click on felicity here it's got 212 residents it's a fairly big city plus people haven't got any jobs here yet but they will in the future so i believe that it will make us some good money and these guys are already making good profit too so that's good it looks like the train's only got a couple of people on yes yeah, six not too many at all um, but i think it will pick up over the years so i'm going to just give it a ride for a couple of minutes and we'll see if it does any better than it currently is oh bollocks i have made a problem i have made a problem right pause game so yeah this is a bit of an issue after felicity uh it needs to go back of course doesn't it otherwise it's just going to go straight back to Summerland so we can't be doing with that in that case then let's go that's probably why there's no passengers let's go from Felicity over back to Crossett then Fancy Gap then West Hampton and then we're back to Summerland cool so that should fix our issues there you go look Felicity 39 that is why because we screwed up all of the stations that's probably why we lost so many passengers everywhere well, I'm glad we did that. I'm glad that's also profitable. That's great. Now, one thing I've been noticing, actually, is these are really racking up. Look at that, 211. I tell you what, let's see if we can get any more trams on this line. All right, we got one. Let's get another. A nice jet black one. Nice. Can we get another? Even more. Can we get one more? Let's see. We can indeed. I just got an orange one. Nice. And then I got a slightly different shade of blue as well. Awesome. Right, how many trams have we got on this network now? We've got like eight. Eight different trams on here. Hopefully that should reduce the load at least. To some degree. Let's see what happens. Don't you just love this game? Why has there a... I, what? <laughs> what? Why is that? I have no idea. Wow, it sure is getting busy around here now. Look at this. The two ships pulling in. These carts waiting to pick up the tools. Loads of stuff happening. Ooh, do you know what I said I was going to do in the last episode? I said I was going to make this look nice, didn't I? Alright, so I gave it a little go and I came out with this. It doesn't look the best, but I'm quite happy with it, to be honest. It's just some uh, some small palm trees, big palm tree in the middle, a couple of bits of shrubbery and a couple of rocks. And I think it looks pretty nice. It serves its job quite nicely. It was definitely better than looking than what it was before. It looked awful before, so yeah, quite happy with that. And I'm happy to see that our logs are going down as well. It was on 200, it's on 70 now. That's much better. All right, let's check it out. Trains coming into the station on full load. Is it going to be full load with some left over? And this is the deal breaker right here. Is it going to be full? It's full and it's a left over. There is left over. Right then, to the depot it is, train. All right, there we go. That's our fourth carriage. It has been put into our rolling stock um, storage. And now we are able to use it on our train. Now another little thing I noticed is the brakes are like the wheels are screaming going around this track. So what I need to do is I need to go onto the track modifier and I'm going to just slow. I'm going to put a mandatory speed limit of 20 because at the minute I fear for a derailing and we can't be doing with that. Would you look at that? That carriage was really needed. Three passengers off being completely full capacity. That is crazy, considering that you can run these trains on like half capacity and make a really good profit. There's a lot of demand. Wow, would you look at that? Train has just left Fancy Gap, uh, which is full. And look how many people are left. Still 20 people left at the station. Crazy. Crazy, we might even have to have another car on this. 
Uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. Um, yeah, these guys only come if there's like a problem. Let's see what it is. Oh god. <laughs> no way. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> let's go check it out. Look. Oh no. Oh man. Look, it's been stopped. It's getting robbed. Oh, we are gonna get sued. We're gonna get sued so badly. Right, they moved the uh, the cart, but uh, damn. Oh my god, those passengers are gonna sue us as, as soon as they get in the station. They've all just got robbed blind by some bandits. Oh man, we are gonna have to pay so much money. Let's see what the guys say. Right, let's go talk to the financial advisor. Oh man. Really? Oh, that's a lot of money. Alright, let's find out how many people there were on board. Alright, and when I asked the Felicity train staff, there was 56 people on board the train. Lucky for us, because that's not too many. We could have had 120. However, 56 is a quite a lot of money still. Oh man, dude, 1.12 million? Are you serious? All right, well, let's go pay it off. Right, that's, that's hitting hard right there. I pay the debt, right? I pay the sue costs, the the monumental cost, and then maintenance kicks in. I have to pay maintenance. Come on, game. Really? That's crazy. And now we're back to absolute squat again. Ah, <sighs> Well, I suppose it could have been worse. If we had a full train there, it would have cost us a lot more money. So I'm quite glad we didn't, but we probably... Actually, let's do it right now. We need to add some security to the train so that doesn't happen or doesn't happen as much because we can't afford to keep doing that. So where's our train? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? All right, first of all, we've got to find the train. Where is it? <laughs> oh, here it is. Right. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna ride the train back up to Westhampton and then we're going to go back to the depot and, and buy some security guards. I'm going to have like one of these... Uh, these one-third? I don't know what they're called. These, these small cars. I'm going to use that one for security. And I'm going to put it at the front of the train. I could put it at the rear, but the front just seems like more logical because that's where the train is going to actually get robbed from initially. So I'm going to just do that and look at the passenger numbers. Our reputation has killed itself. Wow. Passenger numbers are not good at the minute. Wow. So we just kind of have to be wary with our finance even more so now. Because if we don't have any money, and we, especially if we don't have any money, plus we have a huge loan we aren't going to be able to pay these people and we'll get incredible debt because that money it will go out of our like bank account will be in huge negatives as we roll into fancy gap let's see how many passengers are waiting here come on like 10 maybe just something that can make me a bit of profit hopefully come on what are we gonna get 29 let's go that is terrible man oh wow uh, so hopefully we don't get robbed anymore because of the security guard, but I mean, we, we probably will, let's be honest. Oh man, a little view from the tram here. Here comes the train. Choo choo. There it is. It's going through. Terrible. Look, you can see through the windows, no one's on board. Wow. We don't really have that much money as such, so hopefully, we can make some more of that. However, um, if you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a subscribe because it's free and it helps me out a lot and it's, uh, it's awesome. So yeah, I'll see you in the next episode, of course. Goodbye, guys.